everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We are just finishing up the restoration of a fabulous vehicle. And listen, there is no better compliment we get here than, you know what? I think that might be a little too nice for me to drive. I'm like, wow, that is a great compliment. But let me tell you something. Freshly restored in Chianti Red with tan leather. This is some kind of nice and drives nice, highway nice. The simple fact is this is uh, one of those smile making uh, type vehicles that just make you happy whenever you look at it. We're gonna spend some time walking around, uh, looking at the restoration, seeing uh, what's been done. We have a couple small things left to do to it. I can point those out while we're moving around. We have our West Folly stickers that would go here. We got an emblem that would be here. We just finished up new glass, new paint, new bumpers, new brakes, new uh, suspension, engine rebuild, transmission rebuild. And here's why I'm mentioning all that stuff to you because I don't want you to minimize that. And the reason why is this. If you were to ask somebody, you bought yourself this used bus, right? Let's say you could buy it for $15,000 for a used bus that you want to restore. And you take it to the restorer, and the restorer is going to tell you something like, listen, I can get this done for you. It'll be about $75,000, okay? And I can get it to you in three years. You'd be like, holy mother, I have $90,000 in this bus? That's what things cost to restore. That's why I tell everybody, uh, like these here, many of the vehicles we have, you need to have somebody restore it, you finish it, okay? And that's how you benefit. And that's exactly why this vehicle here is gonna work out well for anyone who gets it, all right? So we're gonna spend some time, we're gonna open up at the top, we're gonna check out all the cool stuff inside, we're gonna show you how you can use this for more than camping, right? Because everybody thinks about this as a camp mobile, when really the truth of the matter is, it's just as much fun at a tailgate or a party or anything like that. All right, so this is a bay window version, right? What's that mean? Well, we got these great windows here. It's why, it's why, here's what I get all the time. Tone, that's a great looking car, man. It's beautiful, right? And I say, thanks so much, right? Because I really do appreciate that. However, most people don't know why it's a great looking car. So let's look at that for a second. Mirror finished Chianti red paint with white trim. The white trim makes you feel happy. It just looks happy, right? The white top as well. And then here we have uh, the vents for uh, some things there the white trim all around here, these cool bay windows. Remember, think about this. You had a house at the beach and uh, it had these kind of windows here that you could crack open, bugs wouldn't get in. It was really nice, let's fresh air in while you're camping, partying, doing whatever. Uh, the paint on here is significantly nicer than the original paint, it just is. If you were going to a, a show and you wanted to be judged as super authentic, you probably wouldn't win because it's actually nicer than the factory original ones. But I personally like that, so uh, come on up here and let's do our paint test. And what I'd like to do is make sure you look at all of the detail in the paint. Look at the floor tile, look at uh, the words in here to see how crisp all the letters are. The crisper the letters are, the better you can see it, the better the paint is. You've heard of orange peel paint, right? Orange peely paint doesn't look like this. Everything's blurred, it's hard to see stuff. And what we have here is as mirror finish as the picture show, is as mirror finish that we do for the video for you. All right, so you've seen the pictures of it underneath, all detailed, new floor pans, new suspension, uh, the engine's been rebuilt, the transmission's been rebuilt, new clutch, new brakes, new all that stuff, right? Not that you're gonna go to a car show, but look how beautiful uh, this is. If you wanted to go to a car show and show that off, you could. My point is that this is rebuilt and restored, all painted and detailed, all up in here, right? Using stainless fasteners and things like that so that you can use it, right? It's designed to give you another 50 years of life out of these vehicles, um, all new weather stripping. I want you to see some of the detailed stuff that we're talking about, even things like upgraded generator and uh, the timing cover, all that stuff there is actually much nicer parts, and this has significantly more power than the car than it came with. Ooh, not car, uh, the microbus came with originally. And uh, once we get on the road, you'll get to see some of that. Okay, so uh, this part's important because that's getting us around town. However, or however, uh, what we care about too is how am I going to use this, right? Um, so part of the user of this is. All of this folds into a bed. I'm gonna show you how that works in there. This is a closet here. We have a new handle coming for, uh, for it so you can see the inside of it, all right? Um, the spare tire and the spare tire's here, but the piece of trim was not, so I wanted to get this video done. That'll be in there when you take delivery of it, all right? And then uh, there's a couple small things that we can add to it if you wanted to. We could add um, electric heaters that would run all night long. So if you're gonna camp and you didn't wanna have like a generator or something like that, uh, they sell uh, some uh, pretty cool stuff. We have some other vehicles here with those solar roofs that are on there that charge the batteries that help run that heater. 
really cool stuff. Just great stuff. All right, so um, we've seen this area here. And listen, again, this is over restored. It's beautifully painted in here. It's super nice. And uh, once we get inside the interior, I think you're going to be really happy. It looks like I brought a friend here who'd love to go for a ride in this cool micro bus. All right, so you want to come on in, and uh, we're at maybe one of your favorite sporting events, and we're at a tailgate party. Everybody else is outside freezing to death. you got some heaters running in here. Oh, by the way, I'm 6'1", and I'm standing up walking around inside my van, my cool van. Oh, I need to get my team jersey out of my closet. Let me go in here and get that out. Hey, how you doing? Huh? So hanging hooks here. You want a cold one? Oh, yeah, refrigerator. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you got something on your hands? Oh my goodness! Let me get the sink ready. Come on around. All right. And you can use the sink, right? This is just so cool. Look at the storage here. Beautifully restored. Okay. And then you have a lot of seating options. Like a lot of stuff here folds into uh, beds and what have you. There's more storage under here. Okay. A lot of people put the heating system in, in there for uh, camping. All right, uh, here's your West Folia tag right there. All right, and then uh, to make a bed, pretty simple. Just pull these two right like this. Boom, that's pretty fast and easy. I'm 6'1", and just to give you an idea, that's a lot of room in here uh, to hang out, right? In between innings, in between quarters, in between games, or go away for the weekend, or what have you, it's just, a whole different level of having some fun. How cool is it that you could kind of like take your house with you, head wherever you want and kind of hang out? I just love it. I think it's super cool. All right, so you're walking up to this going, I can't believe this is mine. This is so cool, look at it, wow. It's like great looking, right? Look how much fun this is. You can do the windows up, open, the sliding vents back here as well, right? sliding or vents in here too. I mean, all these kind of cool little things because all the time people say, Tone, it's a great looking car, oh my God. But a lot of times we don't know why. And this is a perfect example of all of these cool things. All right, so uh, the restoration, we looked at the outside, we talked about the underneath. Let's get inside here and see what else we got going on so you can see all of that. All right, again, I'm a, I'm a person of, of room and so like it's 6'1". Uh, I like to show that there's plenty of room for all this. The seats move back and forth. There's plenty of adjustments there. We just finished installing all new seat covers, door panels, uh, carpets, uh, dash pad, restored the gauges, handles, switches, steering wheel, right? Upgraded audio system in here too. Um, we realized that these right here were, were good, but they weren't good enough. Um, that somewhere along the line they would probably fail. So what we needed to do is put them, so I just put them on here for right now. That's not normally where they sit. I need to take that off, install these properly, but that'll all then be working nicely. Um, and then uh, I guess at the end of the day, it's time to go for a drive because it's really uh, restored, it's ready, and it's as uh, nice and new as you could possibly think about for uh, especially a, a 70s vintage uh, cool Camp Mobile West Valley I don't know, I just get excited about these things because they're just great drive and I can't wait for us to go for the test drive. And I know that uh, taking these to, uh, you know, like a tailgate event or camping or something like that is just a ton of fun. All right, so I want to close up the video with a couple of small statements and a couple uh, questions for you. One of them is, uh, why are these so fabulous and famous and why do people love them and remember them so much? Well, first off, they are about fun. There's nothing... There's nothing work related to these. It's really not. When you think about it, it's the anti-work vehicle. It's a place where you can get in, go for a drive, and go someplace that other people can't go. This has a four-wheel, fully independent suspension, and the engine is over the driving wheel. So it's like a front-wheel drive car, meaning that when you get into mud and uh, gravel and things like that, all of the weight is over the driving wheels. That's why these have such great traction. That's why people can take them off-road. That's why they even sell a four-wheel drive version of this uh, much later on. So anyway, the restoration is beautiful. You've seen the pictures of it. We've gone over the video. We've gone inside. We've had just a great time talking about all of this cool stuff. Uh, anyway, I don't know what else to say other than you need to find a way to get this in your garage. Call us, 301. 816-1000, we'll tell you all about this uh, West Valley Camp Mobile. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps get the message out. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And don't forget to uh, share it with your friends. They might see something they like as well. And I will see you on the test drive.
All right, so what's it like, man? What's it like circa 1970s? I'm just wheeling this thing. I probably had way more hair. I probably had way more hair. Oh my God, remember hair? Oh God, remember the 70s. Jeez, this is, this is why people love these things, man. It takes you back, plus it rides super nice. It goes around the corner where maybe an American van during its time would not. These handled really nicely. And they really were designed to go to remote places, right? You could go up into the woods in these because of the rear wheel drive and the engine being over the rear wheels. The fully independent suspension. Most vehicles did not have a four wheel independent suspension, especially vans. And then you had decent power where you could take everybody around. So we're kind of taking this on its maiden voyage. Uh, it's been restored. It's our, my first time taking it out. And we are enjoying uh, the fruits of all of our hard work and all the labor that uh, we put into making these uh, great. All right. All right, so we're back on the road. And I'm smiling. You know why? Because I'm thinking about a nickel bag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you know what I meant, though, didn't you? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. 1972. Uh-huh. Right, dime bag, nickel bag. I don't even think you can get that anymore. Don't know, don't use it, but uh, maybe I knew something about it back in the day, and that's why I was smiling. Because I'm thinking about, you know what? If I had one of these for a couple field parties that we used to go to, I would have rocked that world. Hmm. Imagine going to a concert in this. This is nice. Anyway, we're enjoying a great ride. I hope you're enjoying the ride with us. Uh, thinking about all of the fun stuff you could be doing in a cool car like this. And I'm just rolling down the road. First off, thank you for getting me out of work today, going for a drive in this fun thing, and, uh, and having a good time because it's making me smile, right? Today's, today's work day is behind me. So smooth. All right, well, thanks again for riding. And uh, I will see you on the next one.